welcome back ladies and gentlemen thank you guys for tuning in to another video today in less than five minutes we're going to discuss the importance of white balance so in some of your images you may notice if you haven't noticed yet they come out a little orange and tannish and that's not an effect even though it can be used as one essentially it is not properly setting your white balance so the white balance is a setting in your camera where essentially you would use it to get the correct color of your photo. And here's an example of what I mean with the orangish, tannish photos that kind of come out right here. Hey, 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 no, 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 no. We're, we're not going to do this here. I need it correctly set. Thank you. So the camera, oftentimes, if you have it set on auto white balance, it does what it thinks is correct. But again, properly setting it, I will show you guys how I properly set mine and how I get that full, basically what the eye is, like what we actually see. I will show you how I capture that image via how I set my white balance. Um, and yeah, I mean, the goal of white balance is to achieve the most accurate colors as possible. So yeah, you're doing yourself a disservice if you haven't picked up on how to, you know, shift your white balance. But like I said, I will show you guys here in under five minutes, a quick tutorial on how I set my white balance. And yeah, go ahead and get those true colors back in your photos and let me know in the comments if there's anything else I can show you. Let's get it. Okay, as I advised earlier, I'm going to show you guys how I set the white balance um, for my camera. So essentially, I have a, a button that basically goes right to it. All right, I, and the average camera definitely has a white balance option, so you just have to find it. So typically, where it starts at is auto which i kind of told you guys earlier auto basically the camera does what it thinks is best but as you get you know your creative edge going you might want to you know just uh like i said that auto as you can see it like it's a little orangish but you go down to custom custom setup which is this right here as you can see it is still a little orange but what i'm gonna do is select that right there take a take a piece of white paper plain white paper and the purpose of it is you want to take and you want to reflect the actual light that is in the building off of this paper into the camera so the camera can read it so we'll take this Kind of have it turned over like that. Again, let the light reflect off of it. Take a picture. The camera is going to pre-populate with the settings to what essentially would be white balanced here. Select that, and there you go. We have, let's see, clearer images. So you can see that I'm going to show you an image on the auto setting. Let's go again. Back to auto. Let me show you what that looks like here shortly. Here they come. A little oranges. A little oranges. And then we're going to look at the previous image. That's perfectly white balance. 